Yes, Lou. All right. This is everything we could find on Frisco and Felicia during the body search. Any unexpected items? No, just personal belongings. Uh, nothing else. Papers? No, nothing incriminating, no. No, uh, maybe a claim check for storage or a locker key? No, no, no. Are you looking for something in particular? Well, I, I thought just maybe they might have some of that money that's missing on them oh. or stashed away. Problem now is, where did it get to? Hey, what's going on? Where are they? Well, they're in custody. Lewis here and Sam picked them up earlier this evening outside of Duke's. You question me? Well, I tried to, but Frisco wouldn't say anything until you two got here, except that they were absolutely innocent. He's right. Get him up here right now. What holding cell are they in? They're not in the holding cell. Well, where are they? They're in a regular cell. You had a what? mind. Now, wait a minute. I had no choice, Robert. The alarm system where the holding cells are malfunctioned, so I had to put them in with a regular prisoner. Oh. You couldn't have put them in an interrogation room? Look, I was informed in no uncertain terms that the Internal Affairs Board would not put up with any preferential treatment for Frisco and Felicia. Is that true? My hands were tied, Robert. Hey, look, I feel as badly about this as you do. You know, they're my friends, too. I guess he didn't have any choice, really. Well, I'm a cop and his wife up in a oh, cell with regular cons. You might as well beat him up yourself. You know better than this. Robert, I just do my job. You're talking like a friend, not a cop. You know what can happen to two innocent people left in a jail cell every night with regular cons? I'll go get them. Hi. Come here! Hey, guard, please. What can you do for my wife, please? After what you did, you're lucky we don't throw away the key for both of you. Thanks to you, Jones, my kids think all cops are crooked. My friends make cracks about the force behind my back. Strangers stop me on the street offering bribes. They assume I'm as crooked as you are. You gave every cop in town a black eye. As far as I'm concerned, you and your wife could rot in jail. I don't care about me. What, just my wife, please. What do you know? The kid's a cop. Bad cop, too. You think his fellow officers would mind if we taught him a lesson? <laughs> Probably let us out for good behavior. You guys, I didn't do anything to you, right? You joined the police force. Didn't you? I good dream, enough for us. I dream of being locked in here with a cop. Who says dreams don't come true? You know what they say? Cop? Crime don't pay. You're gonna wish you'd never pinned on that badge. Hey, fellas. Felicia, but I was only following orders. Okay, I'm on your phone. Just stay close to me, okay? I don't like the way these ladies are looking at me. Well, I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Now, just let me go check in, and I'll be right back, all right? Don't worry. Be back. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. What's your name, honey? Leave me alone. You been here before? I asked you a question. Get the hell off my bed. Hey, I know you. Try your picture in the paper. She's the cop's wife. No kidding? I figured she was trash. I didn't know she married it, too. Dress is nice, though, don't she? It's like a belly dancer. <laughs> Pretty. I want it. He'll stop it. I'm gonna scream. I'll be my guest. <laughs> So the idea was to kill all of us and then dump our bodies in the lake. Might have worked, too, if I hadn't switched clown costumes. Why didn't you tell me about this, Tina? I don't like saying too much around your boyfriend. I mean, let's face it, it's no secret. I trust you that as far as each other. Well, bridge. Yeah, I'm Sean. Don't bother. Why? We tried to kill you, but can't for the APB's already out. I called it in before you ran. How can you do that? You're not authorized to do that. 
I used your name. I hope you don't mind. Yes, I do mind. How dare you usurp my authority like that? I'm chief of police around here, not you. And I'm fed up of you coming in here and taking over Port Charles like you own it. You know, I have a good mind to put you under arrest for, for impersonating an officer. Well, somebody has to make you look good in your job. You know, if you weren't acting like some pathetic little adolescent on their first date, perhaps, just perhaps, you might be able to see that Lavey's in this over his head. Somebody has to think logically for you, protect you, and my daughter. I am perfectly capable of looking after my family myself. Thank you very much. I didn't ask you to come back here and help me. I don't need it. So either you back off or you get out of town because I'm not warning you again. Chief Ramsey sent me. Found Frisco semi-conscious on the floor of the cell. Right. Been beaten up. Oh, That's not all. Felicia was attacked too. We managed to save her, but she's in shock. Oh. This way, this way. something for you. Take a drink. Maybe it'll ease some of your pain. Yeah. All the brandy in the world wouldn't help now. Thanks for the thought. Do you really think this is the end? Yeah, it has to be. Frisco Felicia will have given Anna the print out by now. She and Scorpio will have it deciphered in no time. The WSB computer won't waste any time working it hard. Then why are you sticking around? Why don't you make a run for it while you still have time? Now, you know me better than that. Just once. Just once. Why are you so damn noble? You know, I'm not deserting Anna. I'll answer for my own actions. She'll be hurting enough as it is. You're free to go, you know. And I wish you would. Forget it. I'll never walk out on you, buddy. You know what I only regret about all of this? Yes, I do. But tell me anyway. Maybe talking about it will ease the pain. Uh, it's losing the love of the... Losing the love of the best woman I've ever known. And Anna is going to be devastated when she finds out I lied to her. You tried to protect her in Robin. How can she blame you for loving her? I'll take whatever I have coming. The only consolation is, I'm knowing that Anna and Robin will be safe. And Frisco and Felicia not too.